Hey guys, Joan here, back with another beer review, and uh, yeah, I'm a bit hammered. This is the eighth beer that I've had today. Uh, I only went out at four o'clock, and it's about half six, so a bit langered, but never mind. Things continue, don't they? Gonna do a beer review from the beer cities of Asia, and. There's not much else of use in this magazine. Interesting, but it doesn't tell me about beer, really. So I will show you the beer I'm doing. It's called Quickie. And if it focuses, it is by the Magpie Brewing Co. And they are from Seoul in Korea. I'm a soul man. Do -do 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 -do. And if you're not a woke fucker, why don't you watch Soul Man? It's a really funny. It's funny. And it's about blackface. So I, I think it's funny. I really do think it's funny. And I watched such uh, movies from the 80s. Um, but for some reason, this has a rabbit on it. It's called a mini IPA. Ah, uh, just. What the fuck, man? It's. Uh, and what that basically means is. It's three and a half percent. It means it's like someone dropping water into my mouth. It is absolutely ridiculous. It's not an IPA. It's a pale ale. Don't give me that shit. Uh, we got wheats. We got oats. We have got now. This is where things get interesting. We have got Citra Cryo. We've got Simcoe Cryo. We've got Columbus Mosaic, and we've got. Uh, sorry, and it's Mosaic Cryo. Um, so it is a cryo of Dumo. Yeah, Dumo. And that's what I need. 30 IBUs. So it's not an IPA with regards to alcohol. It's not an IPA with regards to IBUs. So what the fuck is it? It's not a fucking IPA. Fuck off. I hate it when people give me just bullshit. I'm fed up of fucking bullshit. And this is what this is all about. This is fucking bullshit. Right, let's see. Is it brewed in Korea? That is the next thing I want to know. Because if it isn't, then they can fuck off. Uh, da -da -da. Brewed in the EU. <laughs> And then imported by Beer 52, you fucking cunts. So it's not even anything to do with Korea, apart from it has the logo. It's Cuckoo Brewed in the EU. It doesn't even say where in the EU it's from, which is Jesus fucking Christ. Just Beer 52, you're taking the fucking piss. You really are taking the piss. Why not import proper beer from where it's from instead of stealing it and then brewing it yourself? Fuck yourself, you horrible cunts, you Scottish fucks. And I'm Scottish, so you are basically, it's like the Olympics. You're fucking yourself. Don't you understand? That you're fucking yourself. Just oh, horrible fucking cunts. Anyway, let's see if the beer is any good. I don't know where it's from. No fucking idea. It's an IPA. Is it really? Hmm, no, it isn't an IPA. Oh, it's a mini IPA. It's a session IPA. It's fucking bollocks. If you call this a pale ale, maybe I would suck your cock. But you haven't. You've called it an IPA. So I haven't even tried it yet. And I know it's going to be fucking shit. So sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry, dear viewers. But you know my opinion on this. It's going to be like someone pissing in my face. That's what you come. Fucking iron brew. Stick your iron brew up your fucking ass, you horrible cunts. Right. See what we get here. Just what the fuck? 
Oh, I'm hammered. I'm hammered, dear viewer. That's my excuse. I've drunk a few beers. Beer 52. Get to fuck you. That's what I say. Right, so here's Quickie. There it is. And there's my uh, thing. No one watches my fucking videos anyway, so who gives a fuck? Um, right. <laughs> fuck off. Okay, so what have we got? We got a finger's head. That's good. Um, it's lightly cloudy. I mean, it's. I'd say it's hazy. It's not really cloudy, to be perfectly honest. They've even scrimped on the wheat and oats. I'd really like to know what brewery made this because I call them out as well. The fact that they don't put their own name on it says more than I'm going to say. Mm, smells nice. Smells nice and fresh. I have to say that. Mosaic Citra Simcoe. Very, very traditional. And the new sky... So, they're not even making anything new. They're using the same old hops. Oh, we've got a contract with Citra. We've got a contract with Mosaic. Oh, Simcoe left. Yeah, let's make that as well. Jesus fucking Christ. You know what? I reckon if you sold this in Korea, they wouldn't fucking buy it because they know it's shit. It's fucking dog shit. Sorry, but Jesus Christ. Fucking Christ. I mean, just ridiculous. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. 3.5% mini IPA. Oh, and how much is it per pint? Six pounds? Nine pounds? Twelve pounds per pint? You're just taking the fucking piss. Oh, is it? Oh, I wonder what week it is today. Oh, it's the week that they do the craft beer thing in London, which takes the piss as well. Fuck me. It's just, oh, I really wish the consumer took control of those things. Didn't, just people are being fooled by the beer industry because they want to make Fucking money. That's what it's about. Money. It's not about you at all, dear viewer. It's about making fucking money. I'll tell you what. Why don't you take your money elsewhere and see what the fuck they do then? Hmm. That's what we should do. I'm calling the consumers out here. That is what you should do. And if the breweries are scared, you fucking should be. Consumer, you have the power. Cheers and beers. Oh, by the way, if you haven't been put off, if you haven't hung up the video by now, and I'm blaming me being a bit hammered, which is fair dues, I suppose. But if you haven't hung up, why not subscribe? Because I speak the truth. I don't talk corporate fucking shit. Like a lot of YouTube channels, they suck the corporate cock. They get free fucking beers and they tell you, Fucking lies. Come to Uncle Jonah. I speak the truth. Cheers and beers. Yeah. I mean, this is a lovely beer. Really fresh. Light. You can tell they haven't spent much money on hops. But they're charging you like six, seven quid a pint. Hmm. I wonder who's being ripped off. It's you, dear viewer. It's you. This beer should cost four pounds, maybe five. No more than four pounds, I would say. 3.5% ABV. This pays less tax. So it should be cheaper. But it's more expensive. Hmm, why is it more expensive? Because the breweries are taking the fucking piss out of you, the consumer. Don't fucking stand for it. That's what I say. Lovely beer. 
it's a shame I don't know the brewery that made it. I could take a guess. <laughs> Brewed in the EU. Hmm. It's going to be a brewery where it's cheaper to brew than it is in the UK. They import it and they make more money out of you. Lovely fresh. Um, citra. Mm, not really. Uh, mosaic. Yeah, I can taste the mosaic in there. Simcoe. Mm, not, not really, to be honest. It's not a juicy beer. It's a really, really light beer. <sighs> Pardon me. You know what? I would say this is either brewed in Belgium or Croatia. And their overheads are really cheap compared to the EU. But they charge you extra money. I mean, I remember in the 70s and 80s when the macros uh, basically took control of the beer industry. And this is exactly what's happening again by the craft brewery. Oh, Brewdog. Oh, others are available. Their prices are through the fucking roof. Oh, yeah, we, we uh, spend a lot more on hops. Do you really? What happens when the hop prices come down? Do you put your beer prices down? No, you don't. So, sorry, but you're speaking lies. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, the beer itself, yeah, really nice. I'd like to drink this again. Um, very nice pale ale. Is it an IPA? No. Mini IPA, Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, are they fed up of calling it a session IPA? Hmm, maybe because they're calling it session IPA, they're losing money. Oh, I know. We'll just change the name. You can't invent what style a beer is. This is a pale ale. This is a very, very pale ale. 3.5% ABV. Not very hoppy. Ah, just, ah, just absolute. This is the worst thing and I don't even blame the Korean people I actually quite like Korean Korean is trendy k-pop and all that wonder if that's what they're trading on the trendiness of you dear viewer oh yeah people don't like America anymore they like Japan they like uh, Korea so what is happening the breweries are cashing in on your what you think, because you don't actually think, do you, dear viewer? Uh, you're led by trending people, not like me, but people on YouTube. They're just lying to you. It's absolutely ridiculous. Ah, oh, it made me go completely mad. And the yeast they've used, I would say, is like a Belgium style yeast. A bit of wheat in there, a bit of yeastiness interacting with the, um, yeah, interacting with the wheat malt in there, giving that creaminess. You've got a bit of oats in there too, but this is far too light to be called anything like an IPA. Absolutely ridiculous. Let's have a look at the uh, foam watch. We've got some crazy kind of stuff in there. Oh. But I'm so angry, dear viewer, that I don't, didn't really want a quickie, to be perfectly honest. I would much prefer a longy for the same price as this kind of stuff. Guys, this has been Uncle Jonah. This has been a kind of drunken rant, but it's all here to entertain you. Hopefully it has. And Uncle John will return with another, hopefully more sober beer review. And it's going to come real soon.